Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon 2019 or Pokemon Journeys the Series episode preview discussion. This time I am talking about the preview for episode 109, so let's get to it. In episode 109, Ash will battle Raihan in a Masters 8 promotion match. Now I already made a video on this episode about two weeks ago. Since the episode was revealed alongside its title and I decided to make a video on it the very same day that this happened. And it's funny that the day after I made the video, a special preview for the episode was released. Meaning that if I had waited just one day, I could have made an even better, more complete video. But because I was so eager to cover the episode right away, I did not have time to even think or consider that they might release a special preview for the episode. Though honestly, the thought did not even occur to me at all. But maybe if I had actually taken the time to think about it, then I might have predicted that this would be the case. Which is why I made the first video on episode 109 and then I facepalmed hard when I saw the special preview. Though in the end, things turned out fine, since many of the things I said or predicted in that video turned out to be true. So the video ended up being quite accurate, despite the fact that I was lacking information when I made it. Plus, since I was planning to make a video on the actual preview for episode 109 anyways, which is of course this video, I can just talk about the special preview as well in the same video. Thus enriching the video and it means that I still cover everything on episode 109 prior to its airing. I will still leave a link to the previous video I made on episode 109 in the description below and at the end of this video, so that you can go watch that video if you haven't already. While that video might not be relevant anymore since it is based on my speculation, I still think that it is worth watching, even if just to see me make some very accurate predictions. So let's get to the previews now, shall we? In the previous video on episode 109, I predicted that Raihan would use Duraludon, Gudra, and Flygon. Now, Raihan was obviously going to use his main Pokemon, Duraludon, especially since Duraludon was the only Pokemon that Raihan was known to have in the anime. But it was difficult to predict what other Pokemon he would use, precisely because in the anime he has only used Duraludon thus far. But by looking at his teams in the games, I was able to accurately predict the other two Pokemon that he will use in the battle, which is cool. Now if you exclude the Gudra that was shown here behind Iris in episode 65, then the only other Gudra we have seen in the anime is Ash's Gudra. So it honestly feels odd to see another Gudra in the anime, and it feels even weirder because this Gudra will battle Ash. I also predicted that Raihan would Gigantamax Duraludon in the battle, which is of course an obvious prediction to make. Now I did wonder about Raihan's rank in my previous video on episode 109, since in episode 27, Raihan's rank was 7 and he then lost to Leon. But we did not see Raihan's rank after losing. But then in episode 100, Flint was rank 7 and he dropped to rank 8 when he lost to Leon. So I figured that Raihan dropped to rank 8 in episode 27, and then he went back up to rank 7 after Flint lost. But it turns out, as revealed by the special preview and by episodes 107 and 108, that Raihan is in fact rank 8 now. So I guess that Flint fought his way back up to rank 7, dropping Raihan to rank 8 in the process. I imagine that Raihan and Flint must be bitter enemies since they keep swapping ranks, or at least I think that this is what has happened. Now I said that it would be cool if Raihan battled Ash in a double battle, since in the games, Raihan does battle the player in a double battle the first time, but unfortunately this is not the case. Also I said that while this battle might be one on one like previous Masters 8 battles, this battle could also be up to 3 on 3 which is the case. As for Ash, I said that he would use Lucario which was an obvious prediction to make. I did not really predict the other Pokemon that he would use, though I said that I want him to use Dragonite and Dracovish since they are both Dragon type Pokemon. But if I had predicted the three Pokemon that Ash will use in the battle, I would have said that he will use Lucario, Dragonite and Gengar or Pikachu, since Dracovish and the Surfetch just battled the Drasna a few episodes ago. And it turns out that he will use Lucario, Dragonite and Gengar, so I would have been on point. 
Now I said that Ash would mega evolve Lucario in this battle, and while neither preview confirms this because they don't show mega Lucario, they do show Lucario surrounded by Aura, which is what leads into mega evolution. Besides, Lucario is the star of this battle, and Raihan will Gigantamax Duraludon. So yeah, I am sure that Lucario will mega evolve, meaning that this will be another mega evolution versus Gigantamax battle, like Ash's third battle with B. While I am all for seeing Mega Lucario versus Gigantamax Duraludon, it is unfortunate that this means that Gengar won't get the chance to Gigantamax, which would have been very cool as well. It is worth noting, however, that Ash has both his Dynamax Band and his Mega Glove, though this is probably because Ash came prepared to use anything he's got, and not that he will use both Mega Evolution and Gigantamax in this battle. Also, I have to say that I am afraid of what will happen to Dragonite in this battle, since Dragonite has yet to be defeated in a battle against a trainer. But Dragonite might just taste the defeat for the first time in this battle, since, like I said earlier, Lucario will be the star of this battle. Lucario will face Duraludon in the final match of the battle, and because Ash surely won't use Lucario until he has no other choice, Gengar and the Dragonite will be defeated. This is actually proven by the special preview since the screen of the stadium shows that Ash is down two Pokemon when Duraludon Gigantamaxes. And Lucario is the one facing Duraludon here. I really don't want to see Dragonite lose. Of course, I don't want to see any of Ash's Pokemon lose, but seeing a Dragonite lose will be especially bad, because again, Dragonite is currently undefeated. It will be sad to see this win streak end. I can only hope that the Dragonite will put up a good fight. And I also do hope that Gengar does not get the short end of the stick this time as his tradition at this point. Dragonite or Lucario might knock out two opponents like they have done in previous battles, which would make poor Gengar feel like Team Filler that just dealt some damage. The ideal outcome is that all three of Ash's Pokemon get a knockout each. So I basically covered all the basic information that the two previews revealed and how they relate to the predictions I made on my last video on episode 109. Now I just wanted to go over the battle itself in more detail. So Flygon is seen battling both Gengar and the Dragonite, meaning that it is unclear who will battle Flygon first. Whoever battles Flygon first will also be the one that needs to get withdrawn since Flygon has the upper hand, or they will be defeated by Flygon. Flygon is seen using a Sandstorm to its advantage, which is a very right hand thing to do, since he loves taking advantage of weather effects. Flygon is seen using the Sandstorm to disorient Gengar, who misses and then flails around aimlessly with Ice Punch. Flygon is also seen attacking a disoriented Gengar from behind with Dragon Claw, so things are not looking too good for Gengar. Especially since Gengar makes a face like this when it's hit. Flygon is also seen using the Sandstorm as cover to pummel Dragonite with what I believe is Steel Wing. So Dragonite and Gengar will both struggle against Flygon. Dragonite is seen smacking the life out of Flygon with Dragon Claw, and Draco Meteor is seen raining down on the Sandstorm covered field. So maybe Dragonite will be the one that ultimately defeats Flygon. Now Gudra is seen using the rain to its advantage, again, a very right hand thing to do. Gudra is also seen using a surf, which is cool. What is interesting though is that in this scene of Gudra using surf, you can see that Ash is down one Pokemon already. Dragonite or Gengar have already been knocked out when Gudra is battling, so you would think that Flygon is Raihan's first Pokemon. Dragonite or Gengar defeat Flygon only to then lose to Gudra. However, in this scene of Raihan commanding his Pokemon, you can see that Ash is down a Pokemon, but the Sandstorm is still raging, meaning that Flygon is likely still fighting. Now the Sandstorm could still be in effect even after Flygon is defeated, but I think that this means that Ash will lose one Pokemon before Raihan loses one of his, with Gengar being the most likely candidate, meaning that I think that Raihan will use Flygon first, while Ash will use Gengar first. Gengar will do its best against Flygon, but ultimately Flygon overcomes Gengar with the help of Sandstorm. 
Dragonite then steps into the ring to come through for Ash as always, by defeating both Flygon and Gudra, leaving Lucario to face Duraludon. Neither preview shows who's battling Gudra and both previews show Lucario only battling Duraludon and they show both Dragonite and Gengar battling Flygon. So I think that my prediction is on point which is bittersweet. My prediction is bitter because I will hate to see Gengar lose without defeating an opponent, like he has done twice in the past already. And it will hurt more now since this battle is after Gengar got its redemption, by attaining Gigantamax and defeating Marnie and Grimmsnarl, which means that at this point I expect that Gengar will do better. It will carry its weight and it won't be a punching bag that fills a spot on the team anymore. However, my prediction is sweet, because while Dragonite will likely taste a defeat for the first time, at least it will go down like a champ, after taking out two of Raihan's Pokemon, meaning that Dragonite's first defeat will be well earned. Also, when I saw that Gudra and the Dragonite will be used in the battle, my first thought was that I would love to see a battle between pseudo-legendary Pokemon, and I guess that I will indeed see this battle. Additionally, because Dragonite is to be defeated so that Lucario can face Duraludon in the final match, if my prediction is on point, then Dragonite will either tie with Raihan's second Pokemon, or it will be defeated while in its last legs by a newly sent out Duraludon. As for who will win the battle, well, I said this in the previous video on this episode, and I will say it again in this video. Ash will win because he must get into the masterclass so that the story can continue, and he has been unstoppable lately. He has an enviable win streak, therefore, I don't see him losing. Finally, I just wanted to say that I love that this girl in the audience has a trap inch. In episode 108, a boy that is a huge fan of Raihan said that he dreams of being a trainer like Raihan someday. I imagine that this girl here in the preview is a fan of Raihan as well, and since Raihan has a Flygon, maybe she wants to have a Flygon as well someday. But yeah, that's everything I have for you in this video. Episode 109 will definitely be insanely amazing, and I definitely cannot wait to watch it. Episode 109 will air on May 6th, two days before my birthday. So like last year, I am getting an awesome episode as a birthday present. And it is funny that the episode that aired on the week of my birthday last year was episode 65, in which Ash battled Iris. So I guess that Ash just has to battle a Dragon-type specialist on the week of my birthday. But, as usual, once the episode airs, I will upload a video review for it as soon as possible, so please look forward to it. But that's the video, as always. Leave your own thoughts down in the comments below, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and would like to see more like it, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I love Pokemon and I love making videos on both the anime and the games. Also, please consider clicking the links on screen so that you can check out more videos like this right away. Thank you very much for watching and let's meet again in the next video.